8.8 centimeters. That's the diameter of the shell that fires out of these. They're also called flak 37s. Each version of this gun has the year assigned to it. These were designed in 1937. But the design of these guns goes back even further than that. In fact, if we look at the beginning of uh, peacetime after World War I, the Germans weren't supposed to be developing new we weapons. So they developed these cannons in secret in Switzerland. And they were built as an anti-aircraft gun. They were able to fire that 22-pound shell up into the air, up to 35,000 feet or something like that. A fuse would go off, and it would spray metal all over the sky. And that's how they were first used during the Spanish Civil War in the 30s. Ingenious troopers decided to fire these at pillboxes or other armored vehicles, and it did terrible damage. Very high velocity, very heavy shell. And so by the time World War II comes around, the 88 gun is not only an anti-aircraft gun, it's an anti-everything gun. They fired them at, uh, at uh, tanks, pillboxes, bombers that were coming over. As well, they could fire them indirectly at uh, infantrymen from over a hill, said. They became a very feared weapon. We're gonna fire a couple for you right now. Notice, children, kids, I'm putting in my earplugs. We're gonna fire two today. We're gonna fire Christie's 88 gun first. And I was hoping you guys might help me with the countdown. Christy, are you ready? All right, what do you say we go down from five? You guys ready? Five, four, three, two, one. Hopefully that was a blank. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, hold on, we've got one more. Elena, are you ready? Hey, she's ready. Okay. Five, four, three, two, one. Thank you very much. We have a